Am I ready to shit my pants? Absolutely. I haven't done vegan vlogs for a while. I haven't done one since Addicted for Now. Just because I was kind of taking a little break from it because I was doing reading vlogs kind of one after the other. Which was mainly for the Addicted Slash Colorway Sister series because I was getting so into it that I was just reading it one after the other. But I've slowed down on reading the series because I don't want to finish it quickly. I haven't started Kiss the Sky yet so I might be reading it this month and doing reading vlogs for those. Obviously I'm going to do reading vlogs for those, but I don't know if I'm going to read it this month, maybe next month. And I just don't want the series to end, so procrastination is great. This was supposed to be my third Colleen Hoover reading vlog. I did film one for Ugly Love, but I lost a little clips for it, so no one's getting to see that. I'm sorry. But this one, I was not going to read, I will say. Even though it is hyped up everywhere as well as it ends with us and all of our other books. I was not going to read it just because of the triggers in it. I've just seen so many people read it and my friends Tamara and Lauren, if you don't know them, then you're probably new to this channel. They are my two best friends and they recently got into reading. I actually did get them to read the Off Campus series, the first book, The Deal. They both seem to love it. And so they've kind of bought more books, therefore they've read It Ends With Us and I did see the reactions of everything. <laughs> That was a great time. But now, they both love Colleen as well as I do, obviously. So they bought Verity and this just came in the mail before. So yeah, it is a bit wrecked. It's actually smaller than I thought and I didn't think that would be shiny, but it is. I like the font. It's pretty cool. I just don't want it to come off. This is going to match up perfectly with the ends with us because that's the same size as it. But then I have reminders of him. I haven't read it yet. I don't know if I'm going to do a reading vlog on it. If you want me to, I can. Reminders of him and Ugly Love are basically the same size. And that kind of pisses me off. Because I wanted them all to be the same size. But it's not. It's fine. It's fine. You know, it's fine. I'm sorry. I'm talking too much. But we're doing a reading vlog. Just a warning. If you see, like, dry skin on my face, it's because I got sunburnt the other day. And it's just started peeling. Oh, the TikTok sensation with over 200,000 five-star reviews. Oh. Do I know anything about this book? Maybe. A little bit. I've seen Steph, I can't remember how to pronounce the last name, is it Bora? Steph Bora? She did a reading vlog on it and I did watch it, obviously. You know, it's just really creepy, you're not supposed to read it at night. Am I gonna read it at night? Did I stop reading Twisted Games even though I am almost finished and stopped reading Hooked just so I could start this? Yeah. Yes, I am buddy reading this with my friends. Tamara's already started because she wanted to. Um, but I am going to be reading it with Lauren, so I think we're starting it tonight. I don't know, but I am going to start it tonight and we'll probably send updates to each other. Oh, we'll probably all FaceTime and read it. If you see my re other reading vlogs, you know the drill. They're going to be spoilers. So if you have not read this book and you don't want it to be spoiled, then click off the video now while you still can. Read it and come back if you want to. But if you haven't read it and you want to get it spoiled, then continue reading. Or if you have read it and you just want to see my reactions, continue. <laughs> It's currently 9.22 and I'm about to start. Should I be starting at this time? I don't know. We'll see. Got my tea and my friend's mug because I love my friends and I love my tea. And I'm on FaceTime with Tamara who is also reading Verity. I'm currently reading it so I put myself on mute so I don't interrupt her because as a reader myself I don't like being interrupted when I read. Okay, I want to say the first line because we all know. Like I said before, iconic lines. I hear the crack of your skull before the spattering of blood reaches me. Where to start a book, Colleen? Where to start a book? Dance around all my questions, feel you slipping from my hands. I freaking knew she was gonna meet Jeremy. I freaking knew it. Let's ignore my hair. My room is kinda dark. It's not showing on camera. It looks brighter in my room, but I promise it's dark. Not dark, 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 but like during the day dark when your blinds are closed. Except I do have my door open, so there's light. I'm on chapter four, and Lauren has just pulled up to Verity's house, and there's a child. Of course, there's a child right away. Why not? I thought it was gonna be Verity at the window. I haven't read much today. Literally, I had a whole day to read, but I didn't because I was out. And then I was watching Iron Man 2. But last night I got up to chapter 3, and then I've started chapter 4. Also, I hate my pages. 
because they're like folding and I hate when it does that. Not even like two sentences later. I just put my camera down and I started reading again. She goes, hey, do you leave here? And then the child goes, yes. And she goes, must be nice. And then the child goes, used to be. What's that supposed to mean? We just met Verity and she's just laying in bed. I have a feeling that what she's doing is pretend. Like pretending that she can't move or anything and that she needs help. She could be, she could be not, I don't know. Maybe every time she gets better, she's able to do stuff. Lauren is going through various stuff and she finds an autobiography. And the first one is, I sometimes think back on the night I met Jeremy and wonder, have we not made eye contact? Would my life still end the same? Sweetie, what's that supposed to mean? I'm getting suspicious of Jeremy now. There was a noise upstairs. Mm, I do not like there was a noise upstairs. And Jeremy's downstairs. And it's coming from Verity's room. Mm -mm. No. This light. It's not working out. Mm -mm. Mm -mm. Mm -mm. No. I do not like this. Kindly no. Of course, as soon as her nurse leaves. I've definitely not had a weird morning and gotten spooked out. It is around 10 o'clock and I just had a shower. And I had a bit of sleeping because because last night I stayed up until one with Lauren to read Verity. And she is now kind of ahead of me. We're on the same chapter. Verity is very weird. Uh, her manuscript with her trying to abort her twins. And then she saw the pictures and one of the twins had a scar on her face. And immediately I was like, oh, yeah, she, that is definitely from birth. I read non-stop last night. Even though it doesn't look like much, I am a slow reader, but I got up to how many pages? 129. Well, I have a feeling Rue knows that she's able to talk and move and everything, but Verity's told him to be quiet about it. I have that feeling, but I just don't know why yet. Ignore the kettle. She had a scream from upstairs. It's crew. He has a knife and there's blood. He literally goes, Mummy said I'm not supposed to touch her knife. Why does she have a knife? I don't like what this is going. Mm, she turned her head and Verity's looking at her. Mm, 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 mm. No, no thank you. She literally goes, I put my hand on the mattress to lift myself up off the floor, but immediately shift backward onto my palms when I catch Verity watching me. Her head is in a different position, turned to the right, her eyes are on me. I think Verity's possessed. Why do I have the feeling that maybe Verity didn't know that Lauren was going to be there? I feel like it's only Jeremy that's read it. I swear I got the next time. I hope there's no next time. But if she sees freaking Verity looking her dead in the eyes again, I'm going to throw this book. I never throw my books, but I will. Crew had a turtle. He thought he lost her and it's dead underneath Verity's couch. Isn't that maybe a little weird? You don't just find a turtle underneath the couch dead unless you've killed it. I'm not a fan that Lauren has a crush on Jeremy. It's like she forgets he's married, but then it's like, he's married. Well, I'll read the manuscript so I don't feel guilty about it. But I know there's supposed to be like a romance thing between them. I was literally just thinking before when she was telling the story to put a lock on the outside of the door so that she can't go out. Why was I thinking before for someone to put a lock on the outside of her door so when she unlocks it from the inside, she can't go out? And then... But Jeremy brings it up and goes, would you feel okay if I put a lock on the outside? That was not really important, but like, my brain works in weird ways. He says, can't you say something easy? At night it's a big room. On the days you don't come to. Make plans I can see through. Doesn't matter cause I know you. wailing and just vomited is she good also i don't like what she was doing to her i almost started crying i don't handle that stuff well how did i know birdie wasn't the one that read her book jeremy was i'm s i still don't like their little relationship thing that is going on no one keeps looking at the stairs why does she keep looking at the stairs i need some scary shit to happen there's no scary shit if you said that i'm sorry Never needed apologies Give me one step away Leave your keys in the gate Try to push <gasps> all night Get a song 
He's gonna walk into Verity's room and see that she's in her bed. But Verity wouldn't have baked something like this. No one would. It would be impossible. Ah. Uh, Highly proud of because your wife is faking it and she's doing a very good job at it. Absolutely not. No. I know she's not gonna run out of that house, but I would. I never come back. She literally goes, Jeremy's gonna F me in your bed tonight. Um, honey, she's gonna walk down those stairs and lock from the outside. I have that feeling that she's gonna do that. Mm. I told you it was gonna be locked from the outside, and you know who did it. Verity! I feel so bad for Harper. Her freaking sister died, and Verity is like, you don't feel bad for what happened. Like, you didn't even cry for her. You don't even miss her. Like, bitch, come on. Also, I want Jeremy to know about this manuscript. Why isn't she just giving him the manuscript? You know what would be cool, though? If we got a POV of Crew and see if Verity actually interacts with him. I wish we went upstairs just to go my camera so I don't have to keep filming on my phone. Well, it's not a feeling. I know that Lowen is now going to be pregnant with Jeremy's child. This is going to be the last chapter of the manuscript. So, let's see what happens. <laughs> Verity talks the crew. She's asking him about like the canoe and everything. I'd like to see how he reacts and everything. She asks why the boat tipped over. And he goes, Mommy said I shouldn't talk to you if you ask me questions about her. Please don't tell me. Oh my god, please. Please don't tell me he did that on purpose. Oh my god. He slipped the butter knife on his gums. Excuse me? She can be there alone. He's like, I can't leave Verity here alone. I need you to stay. Don't stay. She was on her freaking hands and knees, looked at the freaking monitor, then climbed back in the bed. I kind of wish we got very to talk a little more because she didn't really say much before he started like trying to choke her and kill her. I think I'm on the last chapter now. There's no letter so far. I think the letter might be at the end. And then I'll tell you manuscript or letter. I knew she was pregnant. I freaking knew it. Obviously. Yep. And of course, Karun knew. <laughs> Honestly, do really ship. Jeremy and Lowen to get on there. I'm sure by the time you read this, I'll have left in the middle of the night with crew. You have not. I haven't finished the letter. I've got like one page left of it. I still believe the manuscript though. Drive the beach roads all night. Get at least home with stride. Never thought it'd be a cold cell. Doesn't matter because I know you.